everyone, welcome back to Soulmate Adventures. Today we are staying at the iconic Marina Bay Sands. We've always dreamed of swimming in the rooftop infinity pool and we're super excited to finally get the chance to stay here. After arriving on a 17 hour direct flight from LA, we took a cab straight to the hotel. As soon as we walked in, we were amazed at just how gorgeous the lobby was. Check out those high ceilings. It was too early to check in, so they gave us temporary key cards to go up and use the pool. The views were incredible, and it surprisingly wasn't too crowded. We got a text when our room was ready, and we had been graciously upgraded to a room on the 39th floor with views over gardens by the bay. It's a King Deluxe room, which is one of the most affordable options at Marina Bay Sands. As soon as you walk in, there is a mirrored wall on your right, followed by some built-in closets and the bathroom to your left. There were lots of complimentary water bottles next to the bed and in the fridge, which we certainly appreciated because Singapore is very hot and humid. On both sides of the bed, there are USB charging ports as well as universal outlets so you can plug in your devices without needing an adapter. On the right side of the bed were switches to control the lighting and the curtains. We were amazed how large the TV was. It's the largest TV we've ever seen in a hotel room. It must have been at least 65 inches. Next to the TV is a nice sized work desk with a hardcover book all about Marina Bay Sands, which I found quite interesting. The nice thing about the rooms with a garden view is that they have balconies, whereas the rooms on the other side of the building do not. While there was nowhere to sit, we appreciated being able to come out here and, and enjoy unobstructed views of the water and gardens, including the evening light show, which we'll show later. Back in the room, you'll find the safe in the built-in cabinets, along with the hairdryer and some laundry bags. Next, you have closet space with a flashlight, bathrobe, extra bedding, iron and ironing board, and some slippers. Next, you have your mini bar, which we were surprised to find out is completely complimentary. Not many hotels offer complimentary snacks and drinks, so it was definitely a nice touch. There was an espresso machine with four pods to choose from and a kettle. In the drawer below were some teas and the complimentary snacks. Nothing fancy, but still appreciated. And finally at the bottom you have your mini fridge with some cold sodas, juices, and water. No alcohol, but again, still nice to have some free refreshments. Now for the bathroom. You have a single sink with not too much counter space. There's some nice complimentary toiletries on the right made by Roberto Cavalli. large walk-in shower, simple and clean, nothing too fancy. And here on the left side of the bathroom, you'll find the toilet. At night, we were able to watch the Gardens by the Bay light show right from our balcony. While we couldn't really hear the music, it was still neat to be able to watch it from the comfort of our hotel room. The next morning, we woke up super early to make it to the infinity pool right when it opened at 6am. We were fortunately the only ones there for the first 10 minutes, so we got to enjoy the pool all to ourselves and it was marvelous. the sunrise from the pool and the pool slowly became busier. The views were incredible and definitely made us feel like our stay at Marina Bay Sands was worth it. After our 
time, we went back to our room to enjoy the bay views once more over a cup of espresso before heading down to Gardens by the Bay. You can conveniently access Gardens by the Bay from the main floor of the hotel. Just exit through the doors marked as Gardens by the Bay and follow the path to the outdoor lift. The lift will bring you up a few floors where you will then walk back through the hotel and out the other side to the outdoor walkway. We spent hours walking around the gardens and definitely could have spent all day here if we had more time. We highly recommend it. All in all, we had a fantastic stay and would definitely stay here again if our travels bring us back to Singapore. We originally weren't expecting too much from the hotel itself since we figured the highlight would just be the pool, but we were pleasantly surprised by our room. It was nicer than we were expecting. Staying here was definitely worth it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos coming up soon. In the meantime, check us out on Instagram at Soulmate Adventures. Thanks, and see you in the next video!